unhealthy for <laughs> sensitive groups at a 115. So we're not anywhere near the 151 that was going to prevent us from playing. Um, and we got the teams walking out. I guess that was a league edict that if it's over 151, then it's no go. So we're well under that. Although the, the Dutch Guard is adding to the poor air quality with their, um, the orange their colorful flares. orange smoke flares. <laughs> God bless them. And okay. we will have lineups for you uh, soon. Um, we get rosters, but we do not get formations. So we try to project based upon where players have played um, position in the past. Um, but, uh, but for now, it's still a guessing game. We are excited to welcome back uh, Dylan McDermott into the goal. And now we are going to have the national anthem. So we're going to take a break, and we're just going to listen in. Not sure who these entertainers are or what group it is, but um, I'm sure it'll be top-notch. In honor of our top scorer, Daniel Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Helena Diaz, Aaron Holton, Amanda Potenza, Aaron Lee Hoffman, Grace Rowan, Luke Jacobs, and Dom Ferreira, a.k.a. Patrick. Oh, nice. <laughs> Patrick. Love it. Excellent job. Very nice harmonies. Saturday night in Poughkeepsie. The corner of Route 9 and Edvard Beck Drive. More about him later. He used to own this joint before Marist was here. Standings wise, Stockade, six wins, no losses, two draws. Shockers are in fourth Number place. Four, Molina. Probably Number not. Six, six. It would take a miracle for Andrea them to make the postseason. Bionza. I think Hartford is hosting the layout. No. 11, um, Syracuse is hosting 13, Hartford City tonight. Scorer, so if, if City gets some points out west, that, that, that's going to seal the deal for them. They'll probably be the two Number seed. 21, With uh, Vallejo Number checking four, in at three. Eric Wouldn't it be nice to play Vallejo a fourth time for the title? <laughs> if they uh, upset Hartford, they've beaten them twice already this year hmm. in the regular season. Interesting scenarios. Always cooked up this time of year. Postseason is nigh. We're in. So yeah. it looks like we're going to be in some sort of a 4-3-3. Uh, we've got um, Bakaj and Molina as the center backs. I think uh, Dolan and Yaramilo are going to be uh, right and left back. Um, the midfield of uh, looks like it's going to be Julo, Schulman, and Gionza. And up front looks like it's going to be some combination of Cliche, Dipolito, and... Shkreli. Shkreli. What was the awkward leaning forward during the team photo? I think that dates back to the, when cameras were built much different. But um, <laughs> it's kind of a tradition. It'll never go away, even though the digital age, they can take the shot from, you know, space and have it downloaded. 
ref linesman checking the crossbar and the netting. Love that formality that the NPSL employs here. These are real refs. This is a real league. 94 teams, and you're looking at the number eight team, your Kingston Stockade, in the overall standings. But in terms of this conference, the North Atlantic Conference of the East Region, dominating, undefeated. Pedro out there stretching out his, his hamstrings. The early. hamstrings we need trying to get loose. Need some work for number ten. A familiar <laughs> place, and it's like we're at Dietz, Steve, and he's he's either racing up the flank or he's just walking and shaking his head and yeah. saying, "Where's so my we've, pass?" We've got Dolan at left back. Captain Dolan. Okay, I got Shkreli on the wrong side. It's okay. Dolan, uh, the captain out of New Paltz, second season. A Mount St. Mary product. I will move Cleesh. I won't make the Mount St. Mattress reference again. That's over. Not nice. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my. Shockers with Shockers get us going. Yeah. Long ball up the. Left hand side, seen out by Yar Yarmil, Bakaj, Shulman. Yeah, so it looks like Shulman and uh, Yonza are going to be sort of, it looks like a little bit of a double pivot with Julo sitting in front of them. Not quite a diamond, more like a triangle with, uh, with Dipolito up top. Pedro's first touch, he dances it into the box, and it is lost. A black and gold team here. That's through. Dylan does the Pete Weber move. Bowling it out. Shulman up to Cleesh. Chests it and turns, looking for Julo. Can't find him. Turns it over. Schulman and Leash tracking back. And Stockade with a little bit of a pretty passive, nice, nice interception there from Dolan. Straight up to Shkreli. Loses out, wins it back. Trying to turn his man. Nicely up to DiPolito. Julo out to Dolan. Seven straight passes the connected there by the stockade. Dipolito out to Cleesh. Eight. Cleesh, a little too heavy of a touch and uh, blasted out by Thomas Sams for the Shockers. Thomas Sams. Throw to Julo. Toe pokes it in. Yaramio can't control. Yonza. Back to Molina. Molina to Dolan. I think Dolan has our captain's arm man on. I believe so. It's hard to tell. It's a dark blue under the sleeve there. We've had a, a, quite a few different captains. Well, spreading a little the loose there from Molina. Let's see if Yarmio does a good job of keeping it in. Nice long ball up for Shkreli. Taken over by DiPolito. Cuts to the middle. Gives it back to Shkreli. Oh, took a touch. A shot, there and it it's is. in. Oh, my Got goodness. Got the first one. <laughs> His first goal for Stockade. I thought when he took a couple of those touches that he was, he was working himself back into traffic. I thought so, too. Found a wide open shot. Another goal conceded by... Keeper, keeper comes out with his by Ryan Henning. hands held aloft. Yep. Nice assist there by Diapolito. It was a nice spinning, dead-weighted ball right to Screlli. Who buries it? It's 1-0 Kingston in the fourth minute here at Tenney Stadium. He scores and he sets him up, Steve. Diapolito yep. was the key on that one, but congratulations to Screlli for opening his account here. Uh, according to the stat Kingston. sheet, that's uh, DiPolito's first assist. Wow. 
I, I, I'm stunned by that. He's been involved in so many offensive plays. Hello? Yeah, Scratley out of Bedford, New York, another Fordham guy. So two Fordham guys hooked up. Two Rams connected on that play to give Kingston the lead. It's like owning on to on Wednesday night. It was all owning on to all the time. And it worked. We were kind of Marist heavy on Wednesday as well. Good combination. Loose there from the Shockers. Center backs a little bit unsure who they were playing to. A give and go that goes. And uh, Molina is going to toss it up to Yarmil. Is it Yaramillo or Yaramillo? Jaramillo, it says here on the pronunciation. But I, it's Jaramillo. Jaramillo. I, it's got to be this. It, it seems. That's an Ohio version of Hispanic names. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, he played earlier in the season. He came in as a sub a few times, I believe. Where is he? And here's the stat sheet we have here. It's luxurious. Lakeland, New York goes to Stonehill. Stonehill, small school outside of Boston, I believe. Pedro with the throw next to his old buddy, Jamal Lewis Simmons. Nope, he hands it over to the captain, apparently not. Two captains right there. Shockers have not scored since June 10th. Oof. FYI. Almost a month. Well, not quite, but um, yeah, they've had a bit of a drought. So he just called the free kick for Stockade on Dolan, and the Shockers are all feeling like the foul was on Dolan. Uh, he looked like he was a little bit out of, out of control. Yeah, it was June 10th, 1-1 draw against Syracuse. Antonio Lynch scored in the fifth minute for uh, Shockers, and that's it's been goose egg since then. Lynch, a Siena guy. Gionza gets a start in here. Lynch went to the Energy Cottbus Academy. I kind of like that. A little German training. Energy Cottbus. I believe they're in the lower divisions of the Bundesliga Shocker's doing a good job of breaking the breaking the high press. Yarimian does a great job tracking his man. Forces a pretty errant pass. His man in that case is Wisdom Ishaya, Ishaya who's running up and down the left flank for the Shockers. College of St. Rose, um, native of Nigeria. He's had some pretty strong runs over there. Pedro is sticking to, true to his game. Um, not short on words for the referee. <laughs> McDermott. Pedro dancing. Oh, and he, oh. he trips. Gionza. Gionza's like, wah? That's how you play? Yeah. Good job. Nice poise. Schulman looking for DiPolito. Can't find him. Shocker takeover, but Shkreli. To Julo. Gionza to Dolan. Seems like Jamal is playing the hot hand. Like Schulman had such a great game on Wednesday, and he's he back did. in those, the starting. Those, those set pieces were. Yeah. Um, were and great. why not? You had ro unbelievable roster depth. And Cintron, the keeper, was stood on his head. And Gionza just had a few words for Pedro. And uh, they shook hands. So. <laughs> nice. On well, the meet on the beach. It's, it's, it's good for now. <laughs> and we'll see how long this lasts. Because, you know. Gionza still towers over yeah, everybody. Yeah, I was going to say, Gionza's really a big boy, and We man. used to have some bigger um, bigger players. I wouldn't be tripping him from the from the backside too much. Uh, 
Jaramillo just... Is Shia dancing in dispossessed? Definitely too many touches there and too much traffic. Shocker's doing, doing fairly well possessing the ball at the moment. It's Byron Stewart Drysdale, number 13, with a throw. He's a University of Buffalo guy. There's Pedro on his left foot. Oh, skipping shot. Save Dylan. Pedro has not pulled a hamstring yet. It's a tenth minute. That's pretty good. He's still got 10 minutes to go. <laughs> it's usually in the first 20. A lot of angles oh, on that ball. You, you love the spin on the turf. Yeah. Nice ball from DiBolito oh. trying to get his second assist. Thomas <laughs> Sam stepped in in front of that one. Bakaj tried to step up, but lost out to that one. McDermott just boots it. Cleish. I want to say Cleish is a second year man. Is that correct? Yeah. Maybe even third. Yeah, it's his third third season. Chester, New York, out of Elon. There's Pedro with two guys on him. Oh. <laughs> he must his hair on that move. And he gets a shoulder in return. Hmm. Kingston gets the advantage here. Pedro with the pantomime of what happened. The ref's like, I, I saw it. I, I had a front row seat. You don't need to reenact. Yeah, there's some height back there, too, from Molina. He's, he's got a goal under his belt this year. And uh, let's not forget that... Uh, Albion Bakaj um, had that spectacular assist at the beginning yeah. of uh, the game on Wednesday night. Um, just right up the gut. Yeah, he's pretty much done everything right this year, Bakaj. I even wrote a poem about him, but I'm not going to read it. <laughs> I haven't written a poem about a player since I don't know Ooh. when. Good job by Dolan, but McDermott went, couldn't keep it in. Went over for a corner. First corner of the game here. 12th minute, 1-0 to the Kingston Stockade FC in their temporary home in Poughkeepsie, New York, whilst Deet Stadium is being, quote, renovated, unquote. I believe they have yet to start. And I did not turn down my Rammstein um, ringtone. I apologize. Uh-oh. I was just about to say I like our, our chances on these because between uh, Molina and Bakaj and, and Gilms, I feel like we've got some pretty dominant size in the box. Yeah. But, um, but the Shockers were the first to that one and that one. Pedro with decent placement on his corner kick. Give and go with Anthony Rouse, number 24. Who lobbed him. Woo! Oops. <laughs> there was a moment where Mc <laughs> McDermott looked up and thought, I've got to chase that. Rouse, a uh, Hud Hudson Valley Community College Viking, had nine goals for them, but that's on the Troy campus. Does that still qualify as the Hudson Valley? I don't know. Rouse went to the Huddersfield Town Academy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Greater Manchester. And Leicester City. They had two academies wow. over there. Business administration major there at uh, Hudson Valley Community College North. Capital region kind of thing. Troy. Shove. That's Antonio Lynch. Last shocker to score a goal last month. Shkreli, Shulman, nice turn by Guillaume. Yes. Though. So calm. Great poise. 
A lot of space now there for him. for the cross, a cut back to Cleish. Cleish trying to get some room to get a shot away. Can't do it. Back to Julo. Is that, that's Yaramillo over there, sorry. Julo is 21. playing in the middle, yeah, it's, just behind Cleish. Uh, he was hoping for a cross there. Shockers with some decent defense on this particular sequence. Brian Henning, who gave up seven goals in Hartford, over the ball now for a gold kick, goal kick. Um, I mean, it's okay. You know, you call him a sib. You call him, you know, it's, it's on the front of my fanzine. You got to pick on one player. On the other team. I'm not goal shaming him. <laughs> <laughs> but seven is... <laughs> Even at this You're level. You're not goal shaming him. You put him on the cover <laughs> well, next to, in capital letters, Sid. It's a storyline. Oh, oh, oh. oh, player down, no call. Oh, no call. There was some contact was there. Close. He said shoulder to shoulder. It's Anthony Let's Rouse. Let's see if Shulman will just turn and move it up. Shkreli. Julo comes over here on the left-hand side. Shkreli asking for it back. Shulman instantly back to Julo. Trying to decide how to go forward, but ends up moving back. Dolan, Molina. There is a poise about this team when they're passing. I haven't seen one guy panic, and I've seen every home match. These guys are just out there with a slow heartbeat, as Clint Hurdle used to say. <laughs> and getting it done. It's, it's kind of fun to watch. There's a confidence, and, and like I think a lot of them have played together in college, so they know each other. Bakaj fighting in the box. Nope, but he gets hurt. There's a whistle. Goes down and gets the whistle for the foul. Looks like he got it in the jewels. Unrest in Bolivia. Greatest line ever when the catchers would get hit in the testicles. That was uh, the Braves announcer, uh, former Dodger pitcher. <laughs> Long pause, and he'd say, unrest in Bolivia. A little headline ease there. I, I kind of like that stuff. He's okay now. Up to Kionza. Shkreli turns, gets around his man, gets fouled. Like to see, I mean, I, I know we opened the scoring up in the first five minutes, but, um, and as you said, they're kind of like on cruise control right now. There's, there, there's not a huge amount of urgency, but let's see what we can do here. Dolan to Gianza. Gianza ended. Julo DiPolito tried the one two, but it squeaked through. Henning makes the save. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Good hands there by the keeper from uh, College of St. Rose. He's a grad student. Glenmont, New York. Messi is his favorite player. He likes LeBron and fishing. His favorite movie is Creed. He also plays tennis, and his favorite food is sushi. He wants to have a nice car and a $10 million house, and his favorite restaurant is Chipotle. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> St. Rose, uh, had they, their, <coughs> their sports information director has a lot of time on his hands. So because you know that's what they're eating in their $10 million houses <laughs> these days. Get the Chipotle. They're doing DoorDash for Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Dolan, nice throw up to Dipolito. Dipolito inside to Shkreli again. Oh, he gets taken down right outside of the box. Asking for a card. I think the set piece is going to be all he gets. And the Joe Bruno of the New York Shockers, that being 
Pedro Espindola is chatting with the referee. He is the captain. He is permitted to engage in dialogue with the officials, which he is doing. Not as animated as usual, but um, still like the head wag and the, <laughs> the, the arms up. And so we've got Schulman and Julo standing over this, both of whom scored yeah, Wednesday from night. about this far yeah. uh, Wednesday night. So this is, uh, is going to be oh, exciting to watch, folks. It's a little tit for tat here. I think it's going to be... Well, oh! I was just about to say Schulman <laughs> to the short Julo side. puts it in, into the face of the wall. Well, I think he took it off his shoulder. If that was a face, he would probably be down and seeing stars. Let's see the number of that guy. 13 took it in the face. That's Byron Stewart Drysdale. So Pedro puts it out for a corner. Schulman to take. I think is, no, this is our first corner from this side, I think. Who's on the ball there? Shulman. Okay, short. Going short to Julo. Back to Shulman. Shulman, nice far corner. Oh. Headed out by the Shockers. Now looking to break. Wisdom. They do them. have three on two for a moment, but. Wisdom yep. gets it forward. No, it's, it's it works. On one. Thomas Sams with the ball. Yonzo got back. Bakaj does a good job. Actually, that was Dolan who healed. Healed it away. 14 cleared it. Oh, a mugging is taking place in Poughkeepsie. DiPolito. Oh. No call. Come on. Officer. <laughs> that was that was a full-on two-arm tackle. <laughs> oh, oh nice and a great thing. snag by yeah. Dylan McDermott. He held on. He didn't even try to punch it away. Uh, that is what we remember him for from a couple years back. Lanky and very languid. Agile in the goal. That was a stop and frisk move there, Steve. Yeah, I, that I was, thought that was illegal now. That was rugby time. That was a rugby tackle. <laughs> oh, got this pillar right in my... Dolan got a little tired of having it over on this side. Yeah. <laughs> it said 27, Benjamin... Kogan for uh, Shockers is anchoring their midfield. Getting in the way a few times. Who we got on Kogan? I think, I think we've now moved into the Pedro's about to start talking to the bun bench phase of uh, uh, okay. the opponent, opponent bench Kogan, phase of the game. Kogan's an RPI guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, civil engineering. Which number? His brother was a swimmer at Caltech. Um, 27 midfielder Benjamin Kogan. That is my daughter's alma mater. Uh, it's captain of the RPI squad. Oh, what, are they, what are they called? The engineers or something? Yeah. Come on. Something obvious. <laughs> and he's in civil engineering major. Mm -hmm. Shkreli looking for DiPolito. DiPolito controls to Cleesh. Cleesh lets, lets it run to Yaramillo. Back to Cleesh. man cross nobody really in the penalty box there for and now we're somewhat absent in midfield shockers take over and yeah, they're on of, the break a lot of French's mustard yellow in that yeah. back in their box there I think that's the the Pantone I think um, for that shockers kit French's mustard yellow it looked like uh, Julo and Schulman we're all kind of getting sucked up a little bit. Uh, Shkreli looking for Julo. He's kind of on his own. Dipolito in the middle. Drifting. Shulman. Juan's on the ball. So apparently uh, we just got 
notice that the score and the clock is messed up on the live stream. So if you're watching on the live stream and listening to us, the score and the clock is incorrect, and we are unable to fix it at the moment. Might be until halftime before we can get that right, straightened out. Um, but to give you the official time, we are at the 24 minutes and 20 seconds in the first half. Stockade one, Colony Shockers nil. Pedro and that's where we stand. Pedro with an effort here. Molina oh. trying to get back shoulder to shoulder. Dylan what? is Dylan, Dylan is McDermott. way out. He's, he's caught. He's, he's left the goal. The wisdom is going to score. Yep. He rolls it in. That was that was a bad mistake. He, he was way out. That was a bad mistake. I don't know what he was doing. Wisdom is Shia. A lot of St. Rose guys on this team. I like that for a college name. Yeah, he's um, he's quick, and that that Dylan. I mean, anybody could put that in, really, if you think about it. But but I mean, we we, we had a center back who was on it. Yeah, there was coverage there, and there was nobody on the other side. Suddenly, one one here in Poughkeepsie, twenty fifth minute. Shockers score. Not many opponents score here at Tenney Stadium this season. The home team, however, does score a lot. 15 goals here in four games. So, work to do here for the black and orange. Yeah, maybe this will shift the energy a little bit. Nice by Julo to get away. But uh, they called him for the foul. Hmm. I mean, it looked like he just won the ball. I think his, his arm got caught on that on his elbows. It was kind of like a square dancing move. Uh, but I don't hear any fiddles. So, nor does the ref. Shocker's free kick. Lights are on here at Tenney. Hazy background. Canadian wild, wildfire smoke in the area. We're at the corner of U.S. Route 9 and Edward Beck Road Drive here at Marist College. Apparently the score and the clock just fixed themselves on the web, web stream. So Nicely done. 11 sports teaming with Kale Capuchello and our producer here to uh, bring you this live stream, which originated with the Kingston Stockade, the, one of the first teams to do live streams back in the day. With some very, te very tech forward tech wizards, yeah. I mean, you know, of course. We very much appreciate their expertise because you and I are both basically clueless. Well, Spike still has a flip phone. I, well, that's a that's a company phone. I, <laughs> I have a Samsung from like, you know. Wisdom trying again to penetrate that left side there. Um, yeah, he's given Bakaj all he could handle. Over yeah. There. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder why Dylan came out so far on that play. I mean, he was anticipating a, a breakaway, or I, I, I don't know. I guess, but even then, like he would have been better off staying back and having to split the difference because all it was going to take is for the guy to do exactly what he yeah, did, and that yeah. was just push it to the open man. Well, Kogan with some work there, twenty-seven. Stuart Drysdale going to take the free kick. Fourth official moving him back to the proper space. Looking for options here. That looks like Declan Rice, number nine. <laughs> Except about 100 million lighter in his pocketbook. <laughs> Yaramillo just put uh, wisdom down. So I guess maybe at some point somebody said yeah. it's time to like start oh, he's back put, up putting and some bodies. Looking for a run there. He's also looking for service from Pedro, which may or may not happen. I was going to say, <laughs> does, does not often <laughs> arrive. Sometimes in the form of like a deflected shot. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> 
from 48 yards out. Yeah. Shkreli streaks into the middle. Julo, again, super casual. And then why the whistle was blown then when we had the, the, we had advantage. A confoundingly ref game at the moment. I see part of the zoo crew is join is, is with uh, the Dutch card today. That was the unofficial supporters group at Deeds. They're sending me pictures of number seven for uh, Shockers. I'll get to that later because he's not in the game yet. But it looks to me like the, the Albany bench has very few subs unless they're wearing, oh yeah, they're wearing different shirts. The pennies aren't in, in place. Yeah, they have four or five guys. But we're used to some teams showing up with one or two which is fun. I mean, Jamal hasn't even gotten up from his seat yeah. this half. And he's on a perch so there. Sort of. The 1-1 one, one perch. Kogan over it to Pedro. Pedro tries to outside of the boot it. And um, Molina says, I say the nay, Rampager. <laughs> Doesn't make it through and number ten has a throw. Headed away. Shkreli looking for DiPolito, but really just to space. The sky ball there. McDermott comes out to claim it. That's a round of applause from the fans. Comes down with some smoke on it. McDermott, what, 6'7"? I always forget. Yeah, he's a big boy. I met his brother after the game the other day. And he looks just like him. I don't know if they're twins, but he's also tall. So are you a keeper, too? He goes, no, I play baseball. I'm like, good on you, son. <laughs> don't let the Pirates draft you. Uh-oh. He was off. Flag way up on that I got to say, though, that was... Shockers here to play. They're not going to wave the white flag just because they're facing the conference powerhouse. What was that? Some warning to Molina. He gave him the old, th that was the last one, Panamine, but I'm not <laughs> sure what, what he did. The last of the ho-hos, as they say. Bakaj to Molina. I miss the bukaj to bunjaj. I feel like I'm ordering Indian food somewhere. Up for Shkreli, trying to turn. Is that nice. a slide tackle by that Pedro? Was, that was a nice oh defensive play by Pedro. Something he is not wont to he, do he very often. He must have gone to a motivational seminar or something <laughs> since we last saw him. DiPolito mishandles and turns it over in the middle. Oh, Another that. great ball out of the midfield for the Shockers. I keep wanting to say Vallejo. <laughs> Wisdom trying to turn Yarmio. He's busy. Middle. Over. Yeah, that, that initial run was Filippo Bellu. I haven't said his name yet. He's pretty much their attacker, but he hasn't really... He's uh, another College of St. Rose grad student. And it says here he's from Venice. Bakaj down again. Huh. Had a rough first half. Stockade looking looking a little leggy in the first half after having played on Wednesday maybe. Although yeah. a lot of these players either didn't play or were subs. And some heavy air here, no no wind to speak of. Occasional breeze. The flag is just kind of nice from Julo hanging. up to Shkreli. Shulman making a run, cuts it oh, back to Julo. Nice. Julo looking for Cleish on the oh, oh and almost God. an own goal. <laughs> that had 
own goal written all over he it. He could see Cleish on that far post, but... Um, was that Connor DeFilippis? I haven't said his name either. 26, or it might have been 28. 28 is Lynch. Connor DeFilippis is back there for shockers. He's a Fordham guy. So he got three on the field. Boston Spa native. Here's Shulman giving people the sign, tapping his head. So let's see where this goes. Five. Oh. Penalty spot, I think. What he was aiming for. Cleared to the middle. Bakaj in for Hulo. Dancing across the box. Left foot. Shot on goal. That was a good chance. Made it through the crowd. I think 1-1 one, one for, for uh, Henning would be considered a clean sheet. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Is Creed a good movie? I don't know what that. I'm I've not seen any of those. I think those. Or maybe like that was his favorite band. It says Step Brothers. That I no. think Step Brothers might be the favorite movie. My notes are jumbled here. I would have to say Creed ha must be a better movie than a band. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like where the Rocky series went after. Yes, it's you're right. Young Apollo. Yeah, Creed. exactly. It's Thank played you. by that actor. So it, the it was yeah. Creed. Slight water break here for Shockers. That's Filippo. I don't know what discussion's going on. The, oh. the guy from Venice. He's like, where's my Pellegrino water? I think they're doing a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, they're doing a, a concussion check, I think, on somebody who, who yeah, got like a header. It. Yeah, the, the trainer with his yeah. carry-on bag is out there. Because the, the referee was over there, too, and... And it's they stop play for everybody. They, so. They're going to take him off. I guess the obligatory go stand on the sidelines and tell tell me where you are. What town are you in? Po Town, PK. And that is for the Shockers. The guy drinking and spitting and pouring it on his head. Always a good move. That's their number two. And that is Thomas Sams. The Siena guy. He's from England. St. Helens, England. Psych major. St. Helens, uh, between Liverpool and Manchester. Interesting area. Molina heads it away. Cleish collects. Sands pretty much bullies him. Wisdom takes over. Cleish and Yarmio are both over there. Cleish chasing them back. Julo in the middle. Tipolito. And yeah, Wigan gets calls from the sides again. 26 with the Connor DeFilippis with the long ball over the top or into the corner. Yeah, I wonder if um, Sands could be, he could be an Everton fan. He could be a Wrexham fan, he could be a Liverpool fan, or Man City, and or Man U. I mean, it's, they're surrounded by teams. Or St. Helens. Salford City. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, I'm or sure there's Hutt others. Huddersfield Town yeah, Grimsby right there. might be up there somewhere. Yeah. There's the Englishman. Up to the Nigerian. Nice take by your, you know, Cleish gets taken down. Doesn't give him the foul. Jeez. What do we have to do? It seemed like Wednesday night they were letting him nice play. Nice job as well. by Bakaj. Yeah, but I mean, you're in full possession of the ball. You get taken down outside of the box. I mean, you deserve a foul. Shkreli trying to. Cross it with left foot. Oh. DiPolito up for the header. Henning with a rare save. <laughs> He's trying to make me feel bad. I'm for sorry. Yeah, I'm going to stop soon. I don't, I don't, I don't want to run into him in the parking lot. And not, no, not that he can hear this but, or read, read my fanzine, but that was uh, you never Screlly, know. the goal scorer with a, you a, never how, you a know, lively cross. The word of, you know, 
Word of mouth spreads really quickly around. <laughs> Printed matter is around also the NPSL. kind of permanent. 30 issues of the fence post. Wow, congrats. <laughs> Seems like yesterday that my daughter and I launched it. Hello, Roxanne, if you're listening. Nice Not a bad ball. ball. Yeah, yeah, he had two options. Good Yar vision. Yarmio carrying into the middle. Dipolito presents. Oh. Yarmio takes the shot. Henning. Henning again. He, he's, his confidence is building. I can yeah. feel it. Each save, he gets more. We're going to have to call him dramatic. Like the Hoover by the end of the game. <laughs> Vacuuming up everything from the carpet of the turf. Nice header by Dolan. Pedro knows he stole that one, <laughs> otherwise he wouldn't have. In front of the Kingston bench, he knows a few people there on the technical staff. Jamal's like, you still owe me 20 bucks from that road trip to Boston City. Oh! Oh! Screlly nailed in the groin. He's, he's pausing on the line, obviously in pain. Uh-oh. Shocker's on the front foot. Shocker's countering. Good job in the middle. Yeah, they're back. Forcing they're him. back. That's that's a lot of black and orange back there. Well, all three center mids. Oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. A sitter. The ball hasn't gone out yet. Oh, man. They were fortunate. The stockade. Jeez. I mean, that was wide open. Benjamin Kogan with a shot off the post. And Good he, job by He did have a lot of room there. There was there was a lot of goal to shoot at. Oh, turnover. Nice outside of the boot by Julo to get it up to DiBolito. It's turning. Shkreli made a run to the center. Cleesh on the back there, post. Oh, yeah, man. he just tried to sh shoot. The deflection is going to be out for a corner. I thought Stuart Drys Drysdale was toast there when he made that cut. Dip and Lido was going to uncork one there. Stuart Drysdale managed to get his leg back in front of the shot. Good energy by New York Shockers, i got to say. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know when they played last, but I, I'm sure it wasn't Wednesday. And actually, they drew with Syracuse nil-nil, I think, on Wednesday. So they've done some traveling. But to come back from that early goal and to equalize and then to, yeah, to it, miss an open goal. It could easily be 2-1 to the Albany Suburbans curled in corner in. Oh, we spilled that one out to Shkreli. Oh, now the break is on. The break is on. They're in their own side, they can't be offside. A mile out again. So both Wisdom and Pedro were on their own yeah. side of that. Pedro stumbled there a bit, yep. but stayed with it. McDermott out to the 40-yard line to clear that, then why not? Let's hope he doesn't get burned again. Well, he's lucky he did that because he saw that they were all on side. Yeah. And they had numbers, as in, like, three to zero. Oh. <laughs> Pedro stretching the hammies. Late in the first half. <laughs> he might not come out of the locker room again. Uh-oh. Wisdom got around. Aramio. He makes a nice play to push it out of bounds. Looks like he Jeremio went down on that. Troubled himself. Looks like he's in pain. They're waving on the trainers. Jeremio writhing a bit in the, the Marist Red Foxes end zone, football end zone. Well, we are just about to come up on, uh, we're in the 43rd minute. Um, if Jordan was here, he would know how much stoppage time there, there is because he has well, a connection. Well, Dennis has, we has don't. the um, uh, – Dennis probably has um, – A feed down to the table. Yeah, let me go, let me go ask him. The fourth them. officials. I, you know, it's not that important. but uh, We can get it fed up to us. Yes, like Hartford City. Yeah, so this uh, campus, interesting history that, that I mentioned – Edvard Beck, uh, Danish consul in the 1800s. Um, 
a wealthy guy whose parents were merchants in Copenhagen. He was a wine trader, and he also had a pig iron company here in Kingston. So iron and wine is the result. He owns the land that would later become Marist College. He used to live across from the courthouse on Market Street, and I think he took a walk down to the river and said, oh, this is a nice 65-acre parcel. Maybe I'll buy it, and he did. So I don't... The singer-songwriter Iron and Wine, also known as Sam Beam, is, was not inspired by the Edvard Beck legacy. And, um, yeah, there's still some of the... The buildings that were built for him by a, a Danish architect are still on this campus, these Gothic style. There's a, a garden cottage. There's two or three buildings that you see from Route 9 that do not look like the 70s buildings of the rest of the campus. So those, those lasted from 1838 or so when Edward Beck roamed these very grounds. Also, it, time now to wish a delightful happy birthday to... Debbie Harry, 78 today. And what was she, what was she doing this afternoon, Steve? Debbie Harry, do you know? She was performing at the Crystal Palace Park in England with Iggy Pop, Generation X, and the Buzzcocks. There you go. 78 and cranking it out. I saw the footage. It was amazing. Like it was 1978. There you go. And and her real name, as they say, I face this question all the time. Do you know her real name? You don't. I do it, not. It's Angela Trimble, born in Miami. I thought she was a great actress in, the, in those, okay, that so Union City said, movie. I love that. Oh, he's coming off. I heard himself. Yeah. Who did Dennis say came on? I was too busy having Blondie songs in my head. Uh, he's ever over on right back. He just magically appeared. I think it looks like... That would be him on the ball? No. That's Molina. Shkreli. One on two. Back out to Shulman. So it's that guy. That guy came on for him. Deep loaded, deep loaded turns him his man, cuts it back. Seventeen. Tom Stickley, defender from Goshen. School listed as Bellarmine. Second year with the squad. I, I'm not familiar with Bellarmine. Throw in to Shulman. Got to be close on the time. Only two minutes of injury time. DiPolito working in the box. Gets taken down. Picks it back up. Squibs it away. And there's a man on. Dylan McDermott and Molina. Oh, my gosh. Hits his own guy with the ball. He's, just he's got it. He's at midfield, and he's got this. Some kind of bizarre... <laughs> he has wander lust Maybe, at this point. I don't know. Maybe he got the stung, box is so stung confining. by some bee from God knows where, and its venom is going to his head. He's got it again. This time he's in the he box. Looked like he was outside the box. <laughs> was that the whistle? I couldn't. Oh, it's the yellow line. Yeah. Yeah, I think they you're right, a, Steve. He called a handball. The linesman is, yeah. See, I was looking at the white line there, which is like the 15-yard line or whatever. Yeah, it's the yellow line. Wow. Yeah. It's not the kind of mistakes you like to see at this juncture. So they get a free kick right at the top of the box. My goodness. Wisdom and Pedro with a conference here on who's going to take it. Closing seconds of the first half, 1-1 between the New York Shockers visiting your Kingston Stockade FC at Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York. Temporary home. While Jeet Stadium is being renovated. Oh, 
Dietz is 22 miles from this location, according to Google Maps. They recommend the 9W trip. I don't. Cross the bridge, come down Route 9. It's a few more miles, but it's easier. From Kingston. There's Pedro. Not even close. Okay, that's the half. Closing, After the, yeah. that, that's a weird, weird way to end the half. Yeah. I mean, awfully weird half by our keeper. Dylan yeah. Durham. I mean, even giving away that handball from Maybe the very end of the game. He, d he saw how Cintron played on Wednesday, and now he's trying to <laughs> overperform. I don't think so. That's that's they're not like that here. This is a family. This team. And uh, yeah, again, impressive energy from the visitors. Uh, Jamal's going to have to address some of the issues at halftime, but he he does have the uh, the depth to. Bring, bring in the necessary energy. So with that, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. Um, yes, Steve Patch. Soon. Steve Patch with the play-by-play. -play. I'm Spike Brusho doing the off-color commentary. We appreciate you joining us. We'll see you in the second half. We will continue to bring you Kingston Stocker Stockade action from Poughkeepsie.
Welcome back, folks. Second half, Stockade. One, Shockers. One. Um, after missing a couple of sitters, there were a couple of, uh, I don't know what you would call them, mistakes, <laughs> <laughs> blips. A transient keeper. Um, Looks like Stockade's going to try to be a little bit more aggressive on it, their press. There's some aggro I really here. did feel like we were a little bit low energy in that first half. Yeah, I, um, I, I would agree. So hopefully we can claw back some we can claw back some motivation here. There was some maybe a halftime speech by Jamal Liz Simmons to inspire the lads as he has um, this season. Obviously, six wins, no losses, two draws. Second half action brought to you by Steve Patch on the play-by-play. -play. I'm Spike Rusho doing off-color commentary. Um, here we go. Cleesh down the right. Nice back heel into the middle. Sliding tackle. Shulman. Cleesh back on it. Into Gianza. That Englishman's pretty good. Number Nolan. two for them. Who came on as the, as the sub, right? No, he started. He did? Yeah. He just didn't see much action until... DiPolito on his left foot. Out for a stockade corner. I bet he sounds like Paul McCartney. Being from that part of the country. A scouser. Yeah. That's how the accents go. If you're from the Midlands, you sound like Ozzy. If you're from the North, Newcastle, you sound like Sting. Stockade corner. Looking for the far post. Ending with the glove on it, so. Let it run, yeah. That's going to be another corner. The thrower, thrower, it's a corner, I guess. Getting nothing from <laughs> the linesman. Needless to say, Henning's not getting any glove sponsorships this year. I'm just going to say that. Picking on the keeper. Julo with the left foot to the near post. That's on, that was on Wisdom. Although I gotta say, yeah. Henning is tatted up. He's got some nice work on his left arm. Just saw them coming out of the dressing room. Was walking among the shockers. They sounded confident. Bakaj back to McDermott. Up to Molina. He turns. Right now, Shocker's looking like they're playing with a midfield diamond. Just turn the ball over. Pedro moving on the counter. Nice move by the ref to avoid the pass. Little Buster Keaton move. Polina steps up, steals the ball. Dolan, Julo. Ah, short for Cleesh. That was a buddy pass. Good job by Stickley. Good job by Stickley. Yep. Another mugging. Daniel Diapolito absorbed the impact. Kind of like Iron Man when Galactus blasted him with the people yelling for the card. It's like ancient Rome here on the Tenney Stadium Wonderwall. Decent crowd given the circumstances, conditions, etc. Um, they'll announce the attendance soon. My wager is 579. Air quality down to 107. There you go. Oh, like only one pack of camel filterless. Yeah. <laughs> it still didn't look like it went out. Shkreli up there scrapping. <laughs> Turns Shulman with the quick short corner near post. Another one. Off. 
A shocker. What's in the name? Don't ask me that question. <laughs> I just realized their head coach is named Afram Nid Molina making Nizash. the run to the far corner. Oh, oh my man. gosh, Shulman almost hooked it in. Wow. Henning lets it go. Now wants the ball. Yeah, Afram Nizaj is the head coach of the Shockers. He's been on the sideline. I wonder mm -hmm. if they, they named the Afram Sports Park after him. That's a hmm. good question. I mean, that's because it's quite a facility. I haven't been there. Stickly. Gionzak, Gionzak trying to control it. Shkreli. Oh. oh. Shulman trying Dipolito. to find Dipolito. Backing up on that one. Backing up. Doot, doot, doot. Good job by Molina. For a shocker's corner. Molina was looking for the foul, but... I believe Pedro is the oldest guy on the Shockers. He was born in 1992. I was going down the DOB list. I think he's he's the senior Shocker. Oof. Good job by Cleish to just clear the lines and reset the defense after the corner. That was a quick flick on there by uh, Shockers. Player. Now the Shockers are doing some weird kind of yeah. goalie high play. Henning has only conceded one after giving up seven at Hartford City. Good job by Bakaj to Julo. Julo trying to get away from his man to Cleish. Pass back to Shulman. Shulman finds Dolan cutting across. It might be two, no, he got it. He caught up to it and he gets the corner. Nicely done. Good hustle there by Dolan. Oh, well, they're calling it a throw. It probably was, but I thought he was going to be able to steal it. There you go. Shulman presenting. Turns, crosses, far post, and the Shockers let it run. The so Scouser okay. lets it go out. He's got some size, that dude, the English guy. What, this uh, left back here, number yeah. two? Mm -hmm. Sands, is that his name? Thomas Sams, yeah. Sams. St. Helens, England. He probably saw New Order a few times, I'm guessing, living there. Oh. I think the, yeah, that was Filippo Bellu with the, the Italian with the oh. flick on header attempt earlier and another one. Stickley, Cleish, up for Dipolito. You know when they put their hand up, they're fouling them. You know? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was just grabbing him by the shorts and the shirt. And <laughs> but now I'm doing nothing. Hand is hand up. Hand in the yeah, air. See? Nice job. Oh, yeah. Good job by Stickley, but then he Stuffed. couldn't make the next play. It was a good tackle. Wisdom just realized it's a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I burned the other guy. Yeah, I know. Uh, Stickley's had enough of that. He's like, get it out of here. Nice take by Molina. Looking for Shkreli. He's on sides. Chest it forward. He's a little wide. Tried to cut it back for DiPolito. Couldn't find him. Shocker's looking to counter. Pedro with a little possession in the middle of the field. And, and he gets the call. That was De Filippis that cut off that effort. The French's mustard guys are still showing some energy here. Well, we're about to have some subs. 
a little bit early. Oh no, they're putting their. It's not the 67th minute. Yeah, that's 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 when Antonio Conte brings his subs on. Yeah, <laughs> every like the time. 75th <laughs> minute. They're bringing in the zero fat, zero body fat guys. Yeah. These guys take off their shirt and it's like, what, okay, whatever. So number nine looks like Mara, right? Yeah. Austin and SUNY Cortland. Wait. 12. Is that Owen that's Siegel 12. coming on too. Okay. The Liberty guy. From the Oni on to. Who had a great game. Oh, he did. On Wednesday. Fantastic game. He was just in the attacking third all day long. So I'm saying Siegel's going to come on, you think, for Cleesh or Screlly. And then where does Mara usually play? In the, in the midfield? On the field. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Pedro open. Uh-oh. Side Switch. netting. Short side. Side netting. Wisdom was uh, camped out. Probably an option. In the midfield, so I think Shkreli's coming off. If, he, if, he, if Pedro crosses that to Wisdom, it may be 2-1. Shockers. Tamara came on for Cliche. And Shkreli's coming off for Siegel. So Siegel at 12. And Mara for, what did we say? Cliche. So he brought, well, that's, you know. But um, I have a feeling, yeah. Mara went into uh, central midfield and Julo has moved over here in the right wing back role. Stickley just had a little bit of a brain fart right there. And just, so Julo's moved up here. Good chant breaking out. Yes, and on this side of the, the West Berm. And Mara's kind of gone centrally. So Jula took over for Cliche. That is not a foul. Schulman with Wisdom, good effort. Good, Julo up to DiPolito. Oh. Corn. Gave him the corner. Corner. The burst of energy from him. It, it's trademark at this point in his yep. first season. Once he gets inside the box, it's like the video game turbo is turned on. It's like, Rrr. off he goes. A delight to watch actually. The excitement level inside the penalty area. It says he was on the team last year. I don't remember. I, he might, I, I think he was a sub a couple of times. Um, last year was kind of dismal. So Julo left footed corner, inward curler, headed away by Shockers. Wisdom up the left hand line. Shulman tracking back. Good job by Dolan. Force Shockers out. Just figured out that Stickley went to Bellarmine, which is in Louisville, Kentucky, or Louisville, however you say it. Clash of heads. It's like Wisdom Ashaya down. Goal scorer for Shockers, if you're just joining us, it's 1-1. Stockade opened the scoring in the fourth or fifth minute. Goal by his first ever goal for Stockade. By a lad named Scarelli. Christian. Christian Scarelli, Bedford, New York, and the familiar Fordham Ram. Play their games in the Bronx. So today we're not as not as heavily marist as we were yesterday either. Your Wednesday. We've still got uh, well, no, we still got Schulman, Julo, and and uh, Bacage. 
Yeah, Guans is a he's a, Guans is a Maris guy too. Mm -hmm. A Canadian. Okay, so I take it back. So that's four. Canadian, so he has nice health benefits. That, that qualifies as. Yeah. Wisdom comes off. Can ask him the usual questions. Which, try and, which African country are, are try, you from? Try and stall him <laughs> for as long as possible. Yeah, yeah keep him off keep the Keep him field. off the pitch. There he gets the thumbs up from the big guy. Nigerian native College of St. Rose. The other school in Albany. Nice job. A lot of elbowing going on there. Antonio Lynch. Last guy to score for this team. Well, we'll correct that now. Is yep. Wisdom. Good job by Mara. Broke the slump for the Shockers. Left foot across. Oh. Looking for Dolan. Loose ball. Cleared away. Molina with a nice take. And none of the stockade midfield seemed particularly interested. That time. Wisdom back on the ball. Oh. Right to Gianza, Tamara. Dolan's tucking in a little tighter on that left hand side. Into the Pep fullback formation. Playing as a midfielder. Siegel looking for DiPolito. And Shulman in there. Definitely trying to, uh, nice job by Molina. That was a foul. He kept fighting though, that was good. He didn't, I mean, he didn't foul him. He got fouled in return. Should be noted, Pedro's still in the game and no hamstring issues. I think this is the first time in Easily. doing this for how many years, Spike, that we've actually seen Pedro play <laughs> in the second half. I, yeah, I know. It's a, the, I miss the old trainer's table at Deet Stadium, the padded table they always had. He, that was his destination by the, the 57th minute or even earlier most games. It's his burst of speed. Uh, Mara, I think, with a the handball there. I mean, his arms were in against his body. I'm not really sure why they called that, but they did. Connor DeFilippis over the ball. Or is it 27? I keep confusing the two. The numbers are very close. And you can't always see them. It is Connor. Chips it in. There's your man. Headed out. 63rd minute just ticked over Sam's. 1-1. One, one. Kingston versus... Albany, if you will. Joe Bruno against... trying to will uh, people up the field. Joe Bruno against Uncle Uncle Willie. That was my comparison a couple of years. When the, the Shockers entered, the, entered the, the league, what, two a year ago? Two years ago. Nice. Here we go. All right. A little possession now here in the attacking third. Good job by Bakaj. Bakaj running to the front of the net. Stickley puts it over. DiPolito, far post. Oh, Cleared oh. away at the line by the Shockers. Wow. Great play. I thought that was going in. Yeah. And I think those in attendance here were ready for another DiPolito celebration. Yeah, it was hard to tell whether the spin, whether he was actually going to spin it in. Nice play by Mara. But just a little bit loose, that last touch. I'm trying to figure who cleared that off the line. It, I think it was... Uh, Wisdom making a run, looking for him over the top. Chests it down, heads it, controls it. Does a good job. Crossing into the middle, trying to get a shot away. Good play by Shulman. Right Siegel back to, at him. Siegel to Shulman. 
Julo making the run. DiPolito again gets the call. Draws the call. And first and card of the day. Gets. First card to Connor DiFilippis. Mr. DiFilippis, the, the third Fordham guy. His favorite player is Wayne Rooney. So that goal in the last game on the set piece by Shulman was his first goal of the year. He's got five yeah, assists. Yeah, he didn't see but much uh, action until that game. Well, seven games, it says, six starts. This year? Yeah. Wow. Maybe mostly the I must away. have been distracted. Probably a sub. I don't remember him starting. It says seven games, six starts. Ah, where was I? Ooh, the attempted bicycle kick by Molina, who would not be the most obvious one to take that, being the rather large center back that he is. Over the top to Wisdom again. Stickley does a good job. Toe pokes it away. Julo comes back for it. Sams takes it away from him. Shockers are hanging in there. They Look, are. That they looked like a foul from oh. Leonza. Stock A collision there. Sams looking for a proper pint later. He's probably not old enough. Although maybe he is. Who knows? Let's check the date of birth on Mr. Sams. Two thousand one. So he's he's legal. <laughs> he's, he's legal in his home country a while ago. Born November second, two thousand one. Free kick, shockers. Oh. That could have been better, as the English announcer says. <laughs> Room for improvement on that particular yeah. kick. Took off on him a little bit there. Yeah. So, 67 ticking over in the 68th minute. Um, I'm starting to feel a little restlessness in the crowd. Um, I think there, there's a little sense of... Uh, yeah, this um, is not the usual blowout. No, there's a little <laughs> sense of anxiousness, the banks I think, of the Hudson. amongst the, the Stockade players because I think they're feeling like they're putting the work in, but they're not getting the result, right? Yeah. Now it's Pedro one against four, and it looks like DiPolito just took an elbow to the face. Also a shocker, and Pedro's down, too. The leather lungs here in the Wonderwall are barking at the ref. Julo's You've got red Julo's start got, using got gotten angry. As Sam's is in a shoving match now with, with Julo. I'll show you, he says. I was in 24-hour party, people. Let's recall that this season began at Afram Sports Park in Colony. In the 14th minute, Mike Corby buried a, the quickest header I've ever seen off a corner, and we won 1-0 and have not looked back since that corner. Haven't heard much from Corby since then, but that's fine. He got the, He started this fire, and now... I didn't see who got the cards, but... I think uh, Julo got one. He's still doing a lot of talking and pointing. And I think Pedro got one. Seems like they might be discussing tonight's attendance numbers. 853 fans. Wow. I was way off. Evening attendance, 853 people. I, I, was, I put my money on 789. I thought you were talking it's like a five something. It's a miscount. Earlier I was talking five. Then I took a walk. I'm All like, right. wow, there's actually... Yeah, I didn't think because of the smoke people were going to come out, but 
It lot, seemed like a lot of smokers probably people. spending a lot of time indoors. A lot of smokers in Poughkeepsie. They, they don't mind coming out into this. Yeah, you know, I went to uh, I went to an art opening last night. Actually, it wasn't really an art opening. Really? It was uh, it was the 20th anniversary of uh, of Sawkill Furniture in Rhinebeck. Uh, you know, my friends Tara and Jonah who started that on the other side of the river 20 years ago, and they've been in Rhinebeck now for for quite a while. But anyway, they were having their you know celebration, and my friend Alberto works there. I was walking from uh, from there back to my car, and of course there were two like artsy fartsy types from like a slightly younger generation yeah. than I and uh, and they were both smoking cigarettes and I was like is this what we refer to as adding insult to injury <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this isn't enough for you guys free kick in free kick oh, oh gosh Henning almost that really looked like he yeah. was gonna win he, he snow cone that yeah that's a soccer version of a snow cone tried back of the gloves Akash. that was a nice kick Oh, Pedro, that's a second yellow. That's a second yellow. And he's off. And he's off the field. That's a second yellow. There, there's plenty of lawyers across the street here in Route 9 that could represent you in this case, Pedro, but I think they're off duty on this night. The holiday now he's weekend. Gonna, now he's going to try and take yeah. somebody with him. Yeah, Just watch. That, yeah, exactly. The, the baiting is See? under... So Julo there's, made a mistake. Julo, Julo should get out of the crowd. Yeah. Because he just got a yellow. There's a live bait store uh, in Hyde Park he could go to. And he's, he's definitely wants to bring someone with him. The Englishman's going to escort the Brazilian off the field. Fitting. Oh, the crowd getting into it. Oh, shirtless, yeah, of course. Yeah. Is there any yeah. chance to be shirtless? <laughs> and Dennis, <laughs> Dennis, the former. <laughs> yeah, the captain's armband. You're going to have to make it bigger. There you go. So uh, the bus, looking, the bus is in lot two. You can the, recline the, in there. The last twenty minutes. They're looking at the last twenty minutes. Stockade fans enjoying this kind of irony of the former star, the all-time leader for goal scoring for he's, this he's, franchise being walked off. He's chirping the bench, too. And the bench is chirping him. Oh, he did manage to high-five a teammate. That was nice of him. I think that is the only. A lot of times he leaves him hanging. Money Mike's here s standing by to escort him off. <laughs> Military dude. Don't mess with him. It's Money Mike. So he can't even stay on the field. He's got to go sit in the yeah, locker room. Yeah, you have to leave the field. Wow. And, uh, well, actually, the locker room is pretty nice here. So Pedro. Nice will. move by DiPolito. Onto his left foot. Still in play. Cuts yeah. it back. I like that. DiPolito's like, all right. He, he's I'm Mr. Go, second I'm, and third effort. And I'm going to go for the jugular. Yeah. Like, yeah. we just got their guy sent off. I'm just going to attack the goal. Hand. Uh, right in front of you. Oh, Sorry. No, DiPolito is a second, third, and fourth effort guy. And then guy. he calls out on Molina. The other team thinks, oh, we got him. Oh, kick it off the ref. You can't do that, sir. Drop ball. <laughs> this ref has had a busy night. It's been a while. Since Boston City's been out of the league, we haven't had ref issues. That was the red card team of the year every year. And I, I'm told it still continues in their other conference. Bradley Delmar told me that. Nice. Julo steals it. Goes on the attack. Uh, oh, DiPolito, I think, was off. A hasty forward pass. But he didn't pass. play the ball, so you can bring your hand down, center back. And then it resets. Buddy, he didn't join the play. The center back is calling for the offsides. But here... Skyball into the ether. No subs working out on the sideline. I'm kind of surprised by that. Oh, 75th minute. Plenty of options. Yeah, I mean, they just switched. Uh, I didn't realize Gowans is out of the game. They just switched uh, wingbacks. No, Gowans is still in. Yeah, Guan's is still yeah, in. I'm sorry. I they, they only, and then they, they just swapped. 
they moved Julo from midfield to right back, and they put Mara in the middle. And he's been sitting up above Gianza and... Uh, Wasn't that an 80s hip-hop? No, oh, it's Moni in the middle. I'm sorry. My bad. I just got an Instagram message from Jackie Redman from the NHL Network. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> she get any good uh, new free agent news? Well, she probably does. Oh, it's your man again. Sam's knows how to get on the end of a head. Yeah, I think the the man was born on the right soil. Yeah. Inherent ability given his passport. Yeah, that was a push. How do you see that from there? Well, it's amazing. I mean, I saw it from here. <laughs> yeah, but the ref was... Uh, maybe uh, it was the, the... Way, way heavy. And then gets put on his backside. Well, those specials were from Coventry, so it's a little bit off from... Uh, I, no. James Madison. No, oh, really? Currently of Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, that team. There's a famous hooligan, Filippo Bellu, with the goal. The to dude. say we have plenty of time would be <laughs> the maybe dude from a little Venice. headstrong, but, I mean, I think we have time. He walked it in. There's no need to panic. We have an extra man. Nice. Oh, Siegel puts it over. Henning just dive, dive, dove after the ball had already <laughs> hit the net behind the goal well, and bounced back. He he learned from YouTube videos, <laughs> so that, let's give him a break here. I, you know, although you know, College of St. Rose, you know, they probably play. Uh, give me an opponent, uh, Yeshiva. I don't know. 2-1 to the visitors here. Unusual storyline developing here at Tenney Stadium in Poughkeepsie. First time the stockade have been down in a game here, I believe. Nope. And again, Dylan McDermott fleeing his territory and getting in trouble Again, what is going probably on? for the fourth time tonight. And twice it's resulted in goals. No, we it looks like we are going to have another sub. We got lucky on the other ones. Siegel takes over back to Schulman. It's Joe Holder on the sideline. Yeah, he played well in the last yeah, game. Yeah, Oneont the on Oneonta Fest. Oof. Just over Dolan's head. Put out for a stockade throw. Great job by the ball boy to get the ball in there quickly, knowing that time is limited. New throw. Into Shulman. Mm. Loose touch. Cleared away. Sickly. Nice. Oh, oh. man. Just past Mara. We had a perfect angle on that, Diving too. Diving header. Just slicing away from him ever so, you know, two-inch slice on that. And the flag went just up. Just missed his head. Oh, and there, then there's that. Yeah. Someone holding their side here coming off. He has a stitch, as they say. High fives from the bench. Bakaj coming Bakaj. off. I'll be on. And Holder's going straight up, up top. Well, he is Absolutely. listed as a forward. Not that I pay attention to these things, but yet to score this year. <coughs> There's no cough button here. I just There's realized not. that. Sorry about yeah, that. That's all right. It's very healthy.
an entanglement there. Shockers get the whistle. Thomas Sams over the ball, quickly down the left side. Wisdom. Oh, man. Decent cross. Wow, there we go. Just needed to get possession and not give it away right away. Some work there. Yeah. Number eight. Uh, was that nine? Uh, Filippo. Eight is Kevin Wingloski. I don't know if he's in the game. I haven't seen him. Shocker's sub. I think he is in the game. Oh. Initial him contact. A penalty. No way. Yep. You gave him the penalty. That was aerial contact. Once you're in the air, you can't control where you're going. Yep. Well, well it looks like <laughs> Wisdom just drew a penalty, and the Shockers, in spite of being down to 10 men, could go up by two goals. Go figure. Yeah, Kevin Wingloski is in the game number eight for Shockers. Keep in mind, everybody, that we've already cl clinched first. Now, I know people wanted to go through the entire season undefeated, but, you know, maybe this is something that's going to be good for them, right, before we get to the playoffs to sort of, like, snap them out of it a little it's bit. A, yeah. You know that, like... You know, it's what they a, call a trap game on any given Sunday, right? Yeah. Yes, Shockers have nothing to lose, and you know, Stockade pretty much had already won everything they needed to win. Yeah, there's no, ain't no stopping them now, as the the song goes. Looks like Wisdom is over the ball, looking for his second goal of the night, having scored a a sitter now. Dylan, who's, known, who's given up goals for being miles out of his goal, is now wedged on his line, desperate to stop a penalty. Stutter step. And in. 3-1 Shockers. 84th minute. Wisdom with his second goal of the night. A penalty kick. And... Uh, the odds makers would not have favored this particular score line at this <laughs> point. And not that they're... You could probably get a bet down on NPSL. I don't know. Um, and they want more. The Shockers are preparing a sub to come in. Uh, uh, they're just going to take Wisdom off. He looks like he... Exhausted from two goals. He did his shoulder. Uh, his, his shoulder is hanging down. Wisdom off. Yusuf Okine on. We went up to, you know, the man advantage. We just we kind of lost even more yeah, of our intensity. Yeah, it, hasn't it was really almost shown like they just sort of like took it for granted. Seems to be a bird of prey carrying a snake flying over the scene here. Oh, really? Maybe that's an omen. Stockade is about to well, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat with their talons. Or if it was the barred raptors. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. A lot of fans noticed that. It, was, it flew very low under the lights. It had to be some type of hawk. It wasn't an eagle, but it did have a snake in its claws. Henning. Oh, you knew he was going to Snow cones do that. it again. Nice play. Julo's still fighting. Holder, oh, just short. Stickley, Jan's out of Shulman. Shulman oh, gets it tapped away. And now they're on the break again. Two guys. And no the way. Oh. I, was gonna, I was gonna say the one time McDermott <laughs> doesn't come out, he should have. Well, he got it on the armpit there, he was lucky. Great play by Mara. Two guys making the run, and they actually created an opportunity. He Amazing. Had two, he had Shulman and Gionza. Dipolito's even come back to That was Seth Scarano with the shot. Nice ball into Julo. I haven't said his name all night. Left foot. Mm. Puts it over. Oh yeah, Scarano came on as a sub, I think. 
He's from Lemoyne, the Lemoyne Dolphins. Nice uh, private Jesuit school in Syracuse. There must be dolphins in Syracuse. Now I looked that up. But dolphins mean peace. That was a symbol of the college when they founded it in like 1412. Those Jesuits. I'd say God bless them, but I might get in trouble. Two balls on the field. Stockade throw. Work to do. Nice. Okay. I like Myra because he plays forward. Yeah. And he uses his arms. He yeah. It's I mean, like he's, he's, guardrails. He's got a slight build, but he gets yeah. people on his back, and he He'll run, keeps them there. Run right next to guys, but keep the guardrail up. The chairman, of course, gets the info. Not very much. Steve and I have never gotten that information. I mean, we're insulted by that. So we're going to be a little bit, a little bit short, but five minutes. I got, I got five minutes into the. Dipolito, urgent, blocked, settled, cleared. Stickly looking. Everybody forward at this point. Oh. Just not. Come on, guys. Find Schulman in the middle. <laughs> Coaching. Molina chipping it up. And too far for DiPolito. Stoppage time here in Poughkeepsie. Stockade down 3-1. Haven't said that in about two years. Just a couple more minutes of, oh, that looked like a foul. We gave it to him. Good call, Steve. You could wear the red referee's outfit. Oh, come on. I'd like to see you down there refing the game. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't either. There's a lot more running down there yeah. than there is up I here. I told a guy that I do the live stream. He said, you're the linesman? I said, no, I would never be the linesman. <laughs> no, thank you. Live stream. Sounds similar. We were in a noisy bar. Laser. Shot. Oh, all of a sudden. Who was that? Ryan Henning is Mr. Sure Thing in his sky blue getup. Yeah, who was that laser? I launch? think it was all because I, you of know, this, I was like going to say the jinx, but, you you're know. Getting, it, you're getting it, too it, confident. I, I, the, the Henning. You know, I also have a picture of the trophy from 2017 in here. But, you know, if that doesn't happen, then I'll swim the, the Mon, as, as Myron Cope used to say. <laughs> Bulletin board material, they call it. Although I, there's no way they saw that in time, that I was dissing the keeper. Nice ball. Run on. Here we go. DiPolito oh. shoots, saved by Henning. Oh, my God. The soccer gods have granted him, you shall give up seven in Hartford, and you shall stop pretty much everything in Poughkeepsie against the conference powerhouse, Stockade FC. And that remains the case despite this result. Thank goodness we're going into late season without having des you know desperation or having to win in Syracuse, blah, blah, blah. 
No, these guys. Much, I see this as being the last minute it has to be. Oh, angry back heel. Late whistle on the free kick. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. They, they fast forward there. They need a ball. It's coming yeah, in. There you go. That was a late whistle. You know, why didn't you whistle that when it happened? He waited a good three seconds, and the play developed. He's checking his watch. Tough job, the referees have. Toledo. Henning with another save. I think that's... Ah, he's think the that's Gary Cheevers over here. He's David Seaman all of a sudden. Give me another famous keeper. <laughs> the Australian guy from Fulham. Tim Ryan? No. <laughs> I'll never think of it. What about a Spurs keeper? Hugo. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Loris. Yeah. That's, there, that's the final whistle. Final folks. whistle here. This is a stunning result, but as Steve pointed out, not a damaging <laughs> one at all. Um, this team is advancing. We will not see you uh, for the game in Syracuse. Yes, sir. I hope not. We will be here <laughs> for the first playoff game, which I believe is July 17th. 15th. Saturday the 15th Saturday at 7 p.m. kick against either Hartford or Vallejo, it looks like. Even with these three points, I don't think that uh, Shockers have a chance of postseason action. They did last year. They upset Hartford in the... Hartford ran the table and then lost to Shockers. So, uh, just the nature of this game, I think, like you say, I, I was certainly confident that this was going to be win number seven. Um, but didn't go that way. Steve Patch, good to have you back again, your second game back in the booth. Thank you, Spike. I'm, I'm Spike Rusho, and uh, we'll... Uh, rejoin you in the playoffs where it'll be jubilant and urgent and fun and all that postseason nerves uh, stockade return to the playoffs um, it's been a little while and um, I can't say Sammy Sosa keep it continue because we don't want to keep it continue losing so thanks for joining us for this trap game have a great night and uh, we'll catch you on July 15th peace